morning, we're going to demonstrate the assembly process for the Shaker Queen wall bed now. Uh, the first step is to put together the frame. We have the frame set out here on a table with the struts and the side uh, members. Uh, you can do this on a table or on the floor, but it's very important to uh, make sure that the, all the struts are aligned with the uh, with the side pieces, they're all marked which goes where, and you can see marks on the inside showing the outline of the strut pieces, so it should work all right. And the holes for the screws are already pre-piloted. So <coughs> you just start at one end, and set the screws in, and screw them in. And you go all the way around the frame to, uh, to do the same thing. So we have, uh, we have completed screwing in the frame from both sides now. All the screws are into the struts. And again, uh, when you assemble your bed, uh, just make sure that the struts are aligned with the marks and you'll see that they're all numbered so that you, you will have no problem knowing exactly where they go. Okay. Before we put the bed frame together, we have some hardware that needs to be installed. Uh, these are called graphics pins. You have to be careful putting these in because it's very easy to strip them out. We'll include in your toolkit a specially ground bit that will uh, make it easier to get these in. You start making sure that the graphics pin is held vertically and then once it's straight into the hole then you slowly screw it down until it, the shoulder is flush with the wood. There are three graphics pins on each one of these side bed rails and uh, so you get those in and then we start with the other hardware. Uh, this is uh, a trunnion uh, plate here that goes in the large hole on the inside of this each side rail and then you're going to use these large uh, short Phillips head um, screws to screw it in. And then we'll go down to the other end. This is the leg assembly here. Again, it's getting attached to the inside surface of the side rail. These are little decorative nuts that go in from the outside. There's a hole for them, each one. And then these are little machine screws that go into those nuts and fasten this side of the uh, plate. And then the top two holes, we'll use these little short Phillips head, black Phillips head screws. We have one more piece of hardware to assemble onto the bed here. This is the adjuster plate for the that goes on the bedside rail. It goes on the outside face, and you have these little decorative nuts again that are going from the inside face that this plate gets attached to.
these two holes here will be filled with screws later on when we actually put the bed frame together. Repeat the same process for the second bedside rail, which we won't photograph, but it's the same thing. Next step is to assemble the, the bed with the panels and the frame and the, all the side rails to the bed. You, you can do this on the floor. Uh, it should be on carpet or on something that will protect the panels from getting scratched. And the panels will be marked as to which is right and which is left. This is uh, the way that the panel is basically going to look when the bed is assembled. This is the bottom, and this is the top. These get set right, right next to one another on the floor where you'll do this next step of assembly. So now we're going to actually assemble the side rails, the headboard and the footboard to the bed frame. And uh, we'll start by setting the side rail up here on top of the panel. And then we're going to the headboard. which are going to be on the back side. Insert the, the screwdriver at uh, about a 20 degree angle, or 10 or 20 degree angle. It doesn't go in straight. It goes in on an angle like that. You turn it about 180 degrees to lock it in. Make sure that your tip, tip is well seated in the cam before you try to turn it, otherwise you can strip it out. Now we will attach the bed foot rail to the side rail. So the last thing is to uh, fill these last two holes on the adjuster plate with two inch screws that will go through the plate through the side rail and into the head rail. On both sides. So we have the bed frame now attached to all the uh, bed rails, the side rails, front and the back bed rail. The next step is to attach the foot pole to the legs. And you'll have a four millimeter hex wrench in your tool kit that you can use for this. By the way, we're using these uh, quarter inch decorative bolts to attach the rail that will be in your hardware kit. Now that we have the foot pole installed, bed frame all done, we're going to lift this up so that we can actually put glue down where it's going to glue the frame to the front panels. Now I want you to notice that we have carefully marked where all the struts are going to come down on the front panels. And when you put the glue down, you want to get it inside kind of in the center of each of these of each of these spaces where the frame is coming down on the panels. Alright, um, we're not actually going to glue this down now because then we wouldn't be able to take it apart for shipping. But when you do, um, you're just going to put a bead of glue along about halfway through 
all the all the way around where between the marks where the frame is going. Now we're going to set the frame back down on the panels here. Remember, you've got glue on here now, so you don't want to step where there's any glue. And to the best of your ability, when you bring this onto the panel, you're going to align it with the marks and then set it down. It's very important when you start to attach the frame that the panels are right together, there's no gap, and then this is perfectly flush up here at the top. You can move the panel just a little bit, make sure it's nice and flush. The panels are together. You're going to get the top attached first. Now this bed frame is a little bit warped, unfortunately. So you're going to work from the top and get the top in first, making sure that the frame is, is aligned with the marks both inside and outside. And then go ahead and start one corner, screw it down, go over to the other corner, Get it lined properly so that you can see the marks on the inside and the outside. Screw it down and then go ahead and get all your screws fastened in to the top. Once you've got the top in, then you're going to go to the next one here and this is where you're going to need a little bit of help because someone's going to have to push in so that you can see the mark on the outside because it's a little bit warped. It won't be warped once you've got it attached, but right now there's a little warp in it. So I've, I've got that, that one in. The panels are right close together. I can see all my marks, so I know it's perfectly centered. Do the same thing. Make sure that the marks are right. <coughs> you can see all the marks. Don't drive the screws down too hard. But you do want to make sure that this, that this is down flush with the thing. If you break a screw, there'll be extra screws and you'll have to drive one to the side of it because the broken screw won't be holding anything. And then to the next one, make sure that it's, it's centered properly. You can see all your marks. bit of effort because this is where most of the warp is. Um, I'm going to start on this side because I can pull, pull it in to where it goes. I can see my mark and I can drive the screw into the pre-piloted hole. Once you've got one screw in, you make sure that all your lines are properly lined up or your struts are lined up. bed frame is pretty well assembled. So the next step is to put the handle backers in. Uh, these are outlined. You can see the outline uh, of where the part goes. You have two of them. And they just get fastened with the inch and a quarter screws 
into the pre-piloted holes. And then the second one goes right on top of it, again into the pre-piloted holes. To strengthen the frame, uh, we're going to use these, uh, what are called JCB bolts. Uh, there are four pre-piloted holes in the frame that these go into and are secured with a quarter inch nut on the back side. Use a uh, four millimeter wrench to tighten these up. The back here and then two on the opposite. Next thing is to install the mattress support panels that go on top of the frame struts. that the uh, pre-drilled holes are not ex uh, symmetrical. Uh, these holes here are closer to the center of the panel, but they all go into the struts. And then after the panels are in place, simple matter of going to screw it down, screw in each hole.